Hello, my name is Hartland Brown. I'm an employee here at Snowflake on the Solutions Innovation Team. And today I will be walking you through how to set up and configure our Alert Hub framework. So the first step is of course gonna be to just go to the GitHub and download the code. Once you've got the code, go ahead and log into your Snowflake. And the first thing we're gonna do is actually set up the Alert Hub, which we've made very easy. All you have to do is hop in here to the setup.sql. You can either, of course, run this through Snow SQL or in a worksheet. If you choose to do a worksheet, just copy and paste this code out, put it in a worksheet, and run it top to bottom. I've already done this, so my environment should all be set up. The second step is to get the application itself into your Snowflake account. Again, you can either create the streamlet by running it in Snow SQL, or you can create a streamlet out of the interface. And you can, of course, also run this locally if you'd like to. If you are running locally, just go ahead and specify your credentials inside of the TOML. And if not, then you can, of course, either create this with a create streamlet command through Snow SQL, or you can copy and paste the code out. Once everything is set up, you should be able to hop into the Alert Hub. And once you're here, everything is pretty step-by-step. -step. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is, of course, create a condition for your alert. This is just going to say, you know, a SQL statement that under certain conditions triggers an alert. If you're confused by how to set up some of these SQL statements or just how to play with the template, you can go ahead and hop into our demo.mdb or md or our demo.sql, and both of which will have an example of anything that we need to set up these alerts. For my first condition, I'm just going to go ahead and grab this JSON here. Copy it over, and then you toss it in the JSON box here and hit preview condition. So we can see our condition here is good. Looks like we're just going to select the entire records from our alert hub .example .records to test table specified here. And we're going to take a look at these two columns and just give a general check to if there's anything that shows up between these two timestamps, which we're calling scheduled time and last successful scheduled time. You can then save this condition. Your next step is going to be to create a notification integration. Again, we've got a very good example of this on our GitHub. If you hop in here, notification integration is going to be right here. All you have to do is grab this integration, paste it here, and replace this with your email. In my, most cases, I would generally recommend an email integration just for email notifications, but you can do a queue as well. The next thing you do is you set up an action. The action template is just going to basically say, what do I want to do? Most of the time, people are going to want to send an email to raise some kind of alert. If you have something else that you'd like to do, some other system function that you'd like to call, you can, of course, specify that here. Once again, we do have an example of an action here. So if you just pop that in there, and again, include your email address. By replacing your email address here, this will set up the action, and then you can preview the action. And that'll give you an idea of what the action will be and uh, how the alert is going to manage any kind of new records or however else you've set up your SQL condition. Once you've got all of this set up, all you have to do is grab the names of your conditions, notifications, and actions, and hop over to the Alerts tab. Once you're here, you'll specify a warehouse, you'll specify the schedule you want this alert to run on, and then, of course, give it a condition name and an action name just based on what you've created up to this point. As soon as you've got that, you can save the alert, resume the alert, suspend the alert, or delete the alert on this page. And of course, if you want to, you can just return home and start the whole process over and make yourself another alert. Thank you very much.